Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the just outside of the satellite of unrequited love. Oh, today's video is going to be a pain in the ass, so I'm going to keep it strictly just a little bit over three minutes, just because I don't really want to talk about this, if I can help it. So, we're going to be talking about PTSD, uh, the full copyrighted criteria available in the American Psychiatric Association, things like that. So, here is a summary of how you diagnose. The person was exposed to death, threatened death, actual or threatened serious injury, actual or threatened sexual violence in the following ways. Direct exposure, witnessing the trauma, learning that a relative or close friend was exposed to trauma, indirect exposure of adverse details of the trauma, usually in the course of professional duties. That's criterion A. Criterion B, a tra traumatic effect is persistently re-experienced in the following ways. Intrusive thoughts, nightmares, flashbacks, emotional distress after exposure to traumatic reminders, physical reactivity after exposure to traumatic reminders. For Criterion C, avoidance of trauma-related stimuli after the trauma in the following ways. Uh, trauma-related thoughts or feelings, trauma-related reminders, negative thoughts or feelings that began or worsened after the trauma. This is Criterion D. You need two of these. Inability to recall key features of the trauma. Overly negative thoughts and assumptions about oneself or the world. Exaggerated blame or self or others for causing the trauma. Negative affect. Decreased interest in activities, feeling isolated, or difficulty experiencing positive affect. Criterion E. You require two of these. Trauma-related arousal and reactivity that began or worsened after the trauma. Irritability or aggression, risky or destructive behavior, hypervigilance, heightened startle reaction, difficulty concentrating, difficulty sleeping. Criterion F, you require the symptoms to last more than one month. Criterion G, symptoms create distress or functional impairment. Criterion H, symptoms are not due to medication, substance abuse, or other illness. Now here's the important part. These are specifications. Dissociative specification. In addition to meeting criteria for diagnosis, an individual experiences high levels or either of the following reaction to trauma-related stimuli. Depersonalization, experience of being an outside observer and of or detached from oneself. Derealization, experience of unreality, distance, or distortion. Delayed specification, full diagnostic criteria are not met at least six months after the trauma, although onset of symptoms may occur immediately. So here's the thing about PTSD. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't just affect one or two people who have experienced trauma. It affects quite a good number of them. Uh, it has been said that there is a possibility that I have symptoms related to some sort of traumatic effect, but it has only been hints at it. Uh, I have not gone to a therapist long enough for them to say with any definitive nature but the reason that we've done this particular video is because if you know how to categorize it if you know the criteria you can talk to your doctor don't self-diagnose that's bullshit talk to a fucking doctor thank you all for watching i've got raccoon shit to do which is house of cards a netflix original have a good night durka 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 durka